Hey YouTube, Poppy here. I've been talking to a couple of different people asking questions about this case feeder. Sorry about my finger. And my bullet feeder setup that I 3D printed. The files are on GitHub and I'll put the link down in the description. And there is a um, thread on cast bullets talking about printing up these. Uh, it starts out with uh, Emma Mike, and he ended up getting sued because of his use of a uh, of a ramp here to flip the cases and bullets and stuff. Um, so he quit, and uh, this other guy uh, Taylor, he has a teal and everything. Um, kind of took over. He made it bigger. And he made it better. So, <clears throat> the this main body here is one piece. Down here, this is all one piece. This is an add-on up here. This other part it extends it up a little bit. You've got a box here for your electronics. And... You can run it with a proximity sensor or an optical sensor setup. And there's the little motor I bought. It's a little 6 RPM 12 volt motor. It's got a lot of torque in it. I can dump a bunch of bullets in the... I mean a, a big cup of bullets and it's still got enough power to turn it. And um, this back here is the mount. Trying to get so you can see it better, and it just mounts to a piece of one inch steel tubing. Right, here's a I might get a better shot over here on this one. Yep, and you can adjust back here with this bolt that pushes this up and adjust the angle of the feeder. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, power coming in from a 12 volt power supply and these are the wires coming out one is for the um, LED and one is for the sensor down here um, let me see if I can get this in focus there's the LED that just goes in here and bayonet locks locks into place and here is the sensor um the most expensive part of building this was buying the printer <laughs> um i bought a used vox lab aquila on ebay i paid 90 bucks for it shipped and it, it was used <laughs> and when I got it, the main unit had definitely been used. The printing surface was all torn up. Still had print, a uh, stuck-on print on it. It took some cleaning and scrubbing and messing around with, but I got it working. Um, uh, Amazon just had their Prime Day. And they had brand new, and actually, actually it's going through still today, brand new um, Aquilas, Box Lab Aquilas, which is a Ender 3 V2 clone for $151 in change ship, which is a damn good deal. Um, because yeah. that... Um, Normal price is like 189 bucks, which was out, outside of my budget. 151 was outside my budget. 90, 90 bucks was really put my budget to a strain, but I got it. The um, filament I used was PLA, <clears throat> and it was anywhere between a low of the lowest I paid. I think was 11 or 12 bucks for a 
one kilogram roll which is 2.2 pounds and I think the highest I paid was like 19 bucks but PLA is the type of plastic and it's more than strong enough to do everything you need here um, Taylor has all the files you need to print all of this um, this is uh, this little doodad here takes the bullets and makes sure that they're all going in nose up and this little ridge here is what pulls the bullet out and then as it goes around it hits that ramp and pops nose up to go into my bullet feeder and there's all different kinds and there's a screw here on the back that you use to adjust it in and out depending on the bullet length and stuff like that there's a million adjustments on this thing um I'm going to try and keep these videos short, so there's going to be a bunch of them. Anyway, you can see I had a lot of green, and that one's a lot of green, and this one was red and black and, and gray and yellow and a little bit of everything. Um, and he's got plates. Plates for shell holders and plates for bullets depending on what you're doing and then there's different size fittings and springs you need to get depending again on the bullets and the cases that you're going to use the uh, base uh, god it took almost 30 hours of print time to print that's a big print and it took me oh a couple months of playing around with smaller stuff getting enough confidence to in the printer to be able to print it and it printed out on the first try and it did really good so do some research sorry my fingers are in there again anyway YouTube will pick up more on the next video y'all take care remember keep smiling makes people wonder what you've been up to take care YouTube